Hey guys and gals, what is up? I am the Movie Gaming Guy here, getting my first. This is gonna be the first episode of my SpongeBob marathon, and I decided what better way to begin this marathon than to well review the game that review the game I'm doing a let's play on. So let's get started, shall we? The plot of I was really gonna do the original movie first, but I decided I'll just do this. And yeah, the gameplay is from the PS2 version of this game, just in case you guys are wondering. So, yeah. So anyways, the plot of this game is pretty much, it's, it's exactly like the movie, but if you've never seen the movie, I'll, I'll give out the plot. So pretty much what the plot is, is pretty much that um, in the movie, there's SpongeBob, SpongeBob Patrick. SpongeBob's getting really pumped for the, for the as, he's, as he thinks he's going to be the promotional manager for... For the Krusty Krab too. Fortunately, he is not, and he's really devastated. So then, long story short, Plankton gets Plan Z, and he de and he decides to steal Neptune's crown because, well, that's what Plan Z says. Stay recording. I can't. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, but anyways, yeah. So Plan Z. So then he steals Neptune's crown. Unfortunately, Plankton frames Mr. Krabs, so but Neptune freezes Mr. Krabs. So now it's up to SpongeBob and Patrick to get Neptune's crown back and save the, and save Mr. Krabs before N Neptune kills him. Yeah, the sto so yeah, that's the story for the movie slash the game, and that's really all it's got to say. And overall, you go through different levels in this game. This game came out in 2005. So for so for a graphic, wow. Well, they're, they're still pretty good looking compared to today's time, but back in the day, these were well, without doubt some of the best looking graphics ever. I mean, these are so outstanding. Like, this is, two, this is 2005 standards on a PS2. But, yeah. And anyways, the gameplay, there are... The gameplay is really similar to Battle for Bikini Bottom. I mean, it does have a lot of similarities and reused moves, but overall, it does have different game. It, it does have a lot of different stuff. There, there are four different times of game. There are four different types of levels you'll play in this game. There are SpongeBob levels where you play as SpongeBob with his own move sets. Patrick, you, you level where you play as Patrick, where you control Patrick's move sets. And then um, uh, there's the there's the boating. I mean, boating dash. Um, uh, paddy whacking levels where you're driving around a paddy whacking and all those you'll have a different mission to do depending on what level you play. And finally there's what I'm playing right now, the the slip the slip slide. The sliding missions. So yeah, in SpongeBob's missions, you just SpongeBob and Patrick's missions are like kinda of the same, but not exactly since they have their diff since they have different move sets. So what they do, they just gotta get to the end of the level without dying. Also don't worry, this game has infinite lives, so you don't have to worry about getting a game over or anything. The sliding levels are are like probably one of my favorites in the games because all of this is just complete madness and just running as and just getting to the end as quickly as possible. The paddy wagon levels it depend it, it depends what kind of levels you're doing. Like like there could be a level where all you need to do is just drive out, drive out and learn the controls, or there can be one where you have to get some keys, or even one where you have to get to a place in a limited time. And, and Pat, well, yeah, that's about all. And, and SpongeBob and Patrick both have their own different movesets. SpongeBob, he can, well, all the, well, both characters can do their usual spin attack, double jump and stuff, but all of them also have their own unique moves. SpongeBob, he can use um, a, the sponge ball, which is pretty much, he kind of has a bowling ball. And, and in a, um, uh, and if you, I don't even know what I'm saying, but he has a sponge ball move. He can also he can also do a bash, which is pretty much he just not he just pretty much has an uppercut move. And he has a sonic wave guitar. Which pretty much get which pretty much gives him the ability to do which pretty much gives him the ability of rock and roll. And Pat Patrick has his own movesets too. He has a cartwheel, which is probably the most useless move in the whole entire game because well it, it doesn't really do any help. All it does is just make a move faster. That's that's you. That's like the only helpful move it's for. Um, he has um a what was it? He has the stomp move, which is pretty much exactly like Valve or Bikini Bottom. You just 
you know, you just stomp. That's about it. <laughs> and then there's um uh, there's the he has um uh, the, the throwing move. So yeah, Patrick's moves aren't too special, but they are Patrick's moves aren't too special, but at the same time, they are pretty useful. And well that's about it. And there are and this game does have a lot of boss battles, and my god, the boss battles, they are so fun to play. Like, this is this is the the game this gameplay, this is the first boss in the game. This is the frogfish. There there are only four bosses in the game, which kinda sucks, but it's still fun. But there but all four well, three of them are fun to play. The, the fourth one's kinda challenging. Well they're all fun to play, just they get more challenging as you get through them. For example, well, you, you fight two bosses as Patrick, and you fight other two as, Den as Dennis. Spongebob. So yeah, the four bosses, you fight the Frogfish as Patrick, you fight Dennis as Patrick again. By the way, these are all in order. You fight Dennis again, but as Spongebob. And then the final boss is King Neptune, but you play as Spongebob. <laughs> and he's controlled by a bucket helmet. So then after that, I mean, all the bosses have their unique ways of fighting. For example, this boss you gotta kill by knocking him off at edge. And the, ne and the Dennis's fight are actually completely different how you're supposed to kill him. In Patrick's version, you gotta throw watermelons at him. Well, you just gotta throw stuff at him. But your basic weapon is just watermelons. In Spongebob's version of the fight, you have to... You're fighting on him, uh... What is it? You fight on Hasselhoff's back and you pretty much gotta... You pretty much gotta use the Spongebob and attack him. The game, both games do have upgrades, and the cutscenes are from the actual movie himself. Except the only problem, they're in still images, which kind of sucks. But yeah, and there are upgrades in this game, and the the upgrades are actually super effective. If like for example, for example, if you upgrade your spin move, you can reflect, you can you can reflect projectile attacks. If you if you um uh, you can um, uh, upgrade your health, well only the character's health, not like for the slide levels or patty whacking. And you can also you can also um what's it called? You can also upgrade your your basic unlockable move. Trust me, it is awesome when you upgrade the Sonic Wave guitar. It is just awesome. Patrick's moves I never really found that useful upgrading, other than a spin attack. Most of his moves. Other, other than his spin attack and his cartwheel, most of the moves weren't really that useful. Well, well weren't really, they didn't really make a huge difference when I'm, uh, when had it, oh, and his stomp move. Well, actually, all of his moves were pretty effective except for his throw move when it came to upgrades. So, yeah. In the, in this game, instead of, instead, well, in this game, instead of collecting, I'm, uh, and spatulas like in Balver Bikini Bottom, you're collecting Goofy Goober tokens, which actually makes sense since in the movie it did talk about Goofy Goober a lot. As I do own the original movie itself, as I have a DVD copy. But anyways, um, yeah, you must be collecting Goofy Goober tokens, and you need you need a minimum you need a minimum of 50 to, to finish the whole entire game. So that the only while it is good, the only problem with it is that some people might not really like the fact. That some people might not like the fact that you might have to go back to some levels and continue on to get more. But overall, it's pretty good. But overall, it is pretty good. The worst... Yeah, I did. The worst part is the fact when, like, sometimes... It just, it's, it's just sometimes it can be a pain. But it's not too bad, since most of them you can get... Although you have to do a certain objective. There'll be, there'll be combat missions... Brawl, there'll be combat missions, ring missions, guitar wave challenges. Ton, there's tons of ways to get Goofy Gore tokens, so you don't have to worry too much. Although you're, although the thing about this, unlike Bobber Bikini Ball, where it's more like an explore kind of game, this game involves a lot, and I mean a lot more combat than the last game. As there are even actual combat games and combat levels in this game. And, well, that's pretty much all. So yeah, this game is really good. If I can't really think of any problems with this game other than, you know, just I didn't really like how the how the movie was. I didn't really like how the cutscenes were just still images of the movie and the fact that um 
and the fact that um the game and the fact that you're you kind of have to go back time to time to get goofy goober tokens but overall it wasn't too bad it, well actually it wasn't even bad this was a fantastic game if there's anything about this and that's about all i can say that's really bad about this game so what do i so what do i rate this game i rate this game on a 10 9.5 out of 10. It is really, it is really awesome. It is for PS2, GameCube, and Xbox, and also for Game Boy Advance and Nintendo. D I mean, the Game Boy Advance and computer games, but the Game Boy and computer version are really different from each other. So I recommend buy, I recommend buying it if you like platformers. So I'm the movie game guy, and this is the end of my first part of my marathon for SpongeBob. So see you guys.